the hair is really about actually doing something that's not as refined as we've done in like the past seasons. You know, his clothes are really very feminine and he's probably one of the very few designers in the world that actually understands the shape of a woman's body. Really understands. And I'm kind of going against the shape of kind of feminine hair and I guess the juxtaposition is working. And it's almost like a faux hawk this really because it's like looks like it's really short at the sides and it's very long at the back and there's you know hair coming away from the face and to me it just feels kind of tough and cool rather than you know us trying to make the hair really pretty I think we're getting a more powerful vibe the makeup I took the colors straight from the collection we went through the collection he showed me the dyes and things he'd been working with the fabrics and we played around and ended up with an eye look and a lip look that we liked and then we did three variations on the lip and two on the eye so some of the girls were very very painted and ladylike with a very precise mouth and very clean clean skin no other makeup on at all and the other girls had this really kind of aggressive slightly punky eye that has this kind of strange chartreuse yellow or sort of burnt orange and then heavy kind of black liner scratched over it so we have these two different women come from the same place in terms of the colors of the collection, that sort of energy. And we decided to, you know, send them out. I was very interested in using compact fabrics that I could sculpt with, create very womanly shapes, uh, very feminine shapes in either dense felts or fluid silks. I just exploring new ways of cutting, new techniques, using the bias in different ways peeling one fabric back to expose another fabric or layering different materials, bonding them together. It was fun. It was a fun collection to work on. I was so inspired by taking different images, photographic images, film stills that were beautifully colored and very saturated and make collages out of it. And that was really the inspiration. Gorgeous show for Narciso. I was really happy to see all the gorgeous color that Narciso had embraced. Narciso is so great when he does clothes that are a little closer to the body, that have that subtle sensuality, that sexiness that a woman always looks for in a dress. And he's loving all of the mixed greens for this fall season, as I'm loving the mixed greens. I really think it's probably the most newest color palette we're seeing on the runway. This idea of pine, loden, a real blue-based green that's often paired back to a really acidy lime green. And we saw a lot of those color combinations on his runway. And new for him, shoes and handbags. And I thought the shoes and bags looked terrific. I love that graphic bicolor whole story that was happening with your shoe looks like it's one color when it's coming towards you. And then when you turn around, there's an entirely different conversation of colors. So great collection for Narciso. Yes, very excited to be launching shoes and bags in a bigger way. I work simultaneously on both the ready-to-wear and the accessories. Many of the techniques that are in the ready-to-wear, the layering of materials and the combination of materials and colors were also used in the accessories. Oh, Narcissus is a great friend, so I came out to support him. I used to work for Narciso a few years ago and um, always worn his clothing since, still do. I love his fit, I love the way he's a technician and he's like an architect on a woman's body and I think he's mastered at fit. I've known Narciso I mean, for years, and I love to watch his evolution, how he begins to experiment and move to the next step. So it's always a delight to see. 
Narciso never fails. He just keeps on moving on. He knows how to make a woman look sexy and elegant. His high-low statements, understated, elegant, beautiful fit, and ultimately very sexy. I like the direction that Narciso is going with. I love the use of colour. And again, there's another strong graphic quality about his work that we're seeing throughout this week. There's a lot of play on black and white and a lot of block colouring, which has moved on from last season. And definitely, Burnt Orange is the new Rust. Very fluid, very graphic, and very Narciso. I loved it. I'm a huge fan of Narciso. He's made dresses that for the most special moments of my life. He's been there for me, and I love his style. I love his clean lines. His uh, I love black. Narciso does too. And he uses materials that really support you, hold you in. They can still be beautiful and sexy, but you feel good in the clothes. You feel protected, and uh, he really does take into account very much a woman's shape and accentuates it. And I'm proud of him. We're fellow Cubans, and. You know, we, I love to be here and very proud of everything he's done, all the success he's had, and thrilled to be a part of this year. Narciso and, and his work, uh, he's a dear, dear friend. I've been very blessed to uh, have uh, such access to his clothes because they've made my life a lot better. He's a minimalist, but, but in the most powerful sense, you know. I think they're very New York. I think they're very urban. And, you know, they're suggestive and they're sophisticated and they're smart. And I always feel like I can kick some ass in a Narciso dress. I guess I've been describing clothing for so long that uh, it's not only that woman who appreciates the clothing, but it's maybe her, her daughter as well. So uh, that's, a, that's a great thing to see when you see young women uh, who appreciate the craft.